Hi guys, today I'll be showing you three best optimizer apps for macOS Big Sur. To me, these are the most needed apps that I use every single day and they are designed to work great on macOS Big Sur. The links to purchase these apps are in the description. Let's start with the first app on the list. The first app on the list is called Clean My Mac X. If you don't own it yet, you gotta have it. It's one of the best and most reliable optimizer apps for your macOS. I am not exaggerating it, but once you have this app installed on your Mac, you'll know what I mean. This app has many great features, but I'm not gonna go through all of those. I only select the features that I mostly use daily. So before we take a look at the features here, for Clean My Mac X, when you open it, it always run in the menu bar. And let's start with my most favorite feature of this app is called Smart Scan, right here. And what this feature does is that it basically scans your Mac system for junk files, deleted files, catches and temporary files that have been built up for a period of time in your Mac which consume a lot of your Mac storage. It will also scan for potential threats from malware or something from the internet. And it also improves the system performance as well. So I just click run here, it will start the process and if any browsers running like Safari or Google Chrome, it will ask you to quit it. So you just quit all or quit one, it's up to you. It will take a few minutes to clean all of this, so you have to be patient. It's done. And you can see here, you get 1.79 gigabyte back. But my second favorite feature of this app is called Uninstaller, right here. With this feature, you can completely uninstall one or multiple apps quickly and safely. This is also one of the features that I use a lot for this app when especially I want to uninstall multiple apps. I just select them all and click uninstall. It does not just uninstall the app itself, it also removes any junks or any related file to that particular application. So it basically completely removes any trace of the app from your Mac. The great thing is that you can remove multiple apps at the same time, so it's really useful. Just select all of these, click uninstall, it will start the process. And also if it notice any application that is not fully uninstalled or like crash application or something, or the application that you try to remove or uninstall through moving to trash or something, and it leaves behind any trace or any shortcut somewhere, it will pop up the notification at the top of your screen asking you to re uninstall it so that no trace of the application is left behind. It's really cool for this feature. For my third favorite feature, it is called Large and Old Files. With this feature, you can scan for any hidden file that is too large to be stored on your Mac. I usually do this to scan for the unnecessary large files to be deleted. So sometimes it's hidden somewhere, you don't know where it is. Or sometimes it's not hidden but you don't really notice which folder contains like the largest files inside. So by scanning using the feature called large and old files here, you can find where it is on your Mac. Whether it's on the desktop or inside downloads folders or anywhere else. So you can see here, usually it automatically lists based on the size so that you can make decision whether to keep it or delete it. And my fourth favorite feature of this app is called optimization. So we click view all 26 items here. So with this feature, you can determine which apps or app agents, these are app agents, because let's say you have uh, Adobe installed, it may have lots of agents to be installed so that it may run properly on your Mac, but it need to be run at startup, which may slow down your Mac at the beginning when you initially press on the turn on button. It will take a while for you to boot up to the home screen. So this is when this feature comes in. You just come here and look at the feature that you don't need to be run at the startup or when your Mac is boot up. Just come here, click disable it like that. Enable, disable. You can come to enable it later if you want to. But if any feature that you think is not necessary, you just disable it and then your Mac will run faster at boot up or startup. I mean, if you use app like um, Spotify, you may notice that once you open the app, it will run automatically at startup. Whenever you turn on your Mac, Spotify will automatically pop up at startup, which is really annoying. And that's when you also use this feature to disable Spotify from running at startup and it never pop up again. Okay, this is app number one, which is also my most favorite app as well. Whenever I have my MacBook or any Mac computer, I always install this first okay let's move on to app number two so the second app of the list is called one switch here 
So when you open it, it will pop up this preferences of the app. As its name suggests, what this app does is that it allows you to access a number of your Mac optimization features to turn them on or off easily and quickly at your menu bar. Let's say we just leave the preferences like this. And here, it just runs at the menu bar click on it and here it's just one switch it's just like a remote control where you can switch on and off a number of useful features for example let's say you want to hide your desktop icons so you just click it here and turn it on all the items on your desktop will be gone and you can turn it back on and pop up for dark mode as well you can even see the extra details of each feature here by clicking here you will see that switch manually or you can change it to auto change from sunrise to sunset or from this time to this time see that's the detail feature or you just ignore that you just do it manually turn it on you can see down here it changed the color to dark we open any app it's now in dark mode if we turn it back on it will be in a normal mode it's really cool and this is another feature i mean you may have heard the app called cafe in or something that it allows you to indefinitely keep your mac awake but with one switch that feature is just one of many features that you can do within this app so if you want your mac not to sleep just turn it on and it will never sleep and it's just right at your fingertip for screensaver as well you can turn it on and it will start the screensaver and if you have like in my case i have my airpod pro nearby turn it on let's say if it is connected to another device and if you want it to be connected to this device turn it on and it will be connected see it's connected now so it shows me even the percentage of my battery for the left and right airpod so left 86 percent right 100 percent which is strange maybe i haven't charged my airpod and also another feature do not disturb it's all here even the feature called night shift it's right here as well so what night shift does is if i turn it on it will dim the color to look like a night lamp turning on so it will be friendly to your eye at night and even lock the keyboard so when the keyboard is locked you cannot type anything on it whatever you try to type it doesn't work because it's locked now so let's say i want to delete this one so now in my trash i have a file waiting to be removed now my trash can enable me to delete it gone and this feature for eject the disk let me show you an example here and now i just plug in my external ssd let's eject the disk first it's gone what you have to be careful is that it also trying to eject your mac os hd as well so do not click force eject just cancel it so what it does is it try to eject all hard disk connected to your mac including the one that is built in the macintosh hd that is built in for this mac computer it does not just eject the external one the internal as well so when it pop up that message do not click force eject because it may restart your computer and if you want extra features just click on customize here and there are features like minute microphone features like true tone if you're using the new macbook 2020 or 21 i think they have this feature but mine is imac 2017 so this feature is not available you can even show hidden files display sleep lock screen so there are a number of useful features that you can access them easily from the menu bar and that is one switch okay let's move on to app number three which is the last app of the list so app number three is called Menuware here and again it's similar to one switch when you open the app it pop up the preferences for you to configure before you start using it so what this app does is that it allows you to access all the menus of any app or window that you open right where your mouse cursor is at i will show you what i mean here let's take a look at the preferences first so by default this one will be on it's a preposition apple menu below other menus so i wanted to take a look at my mouse cursor it's right here and i can use the shortcut key to pop that feature the menu where here which is control one so i put my cursor right here control one you can see it we put it here 
pop up here. Wherever my mouse cursor is at, it will pop up there for convenient access. So because right now I am at the desktop, and if you take a look at these settings here, these menus here, compared to the menu at the top here, it's exactly the same. But you can now more conveniently access them. And you can see the upper menu is at the bottom because I ticked that. In fact, it comes with the default feature. So if you don't want it to be the last, untick it and command one you can see the menu for the apple is at the top you can even shut down computer or sleep or restart your computer right from wherever your mouse cursor is at you can just do so quickly so the hot key or the shortcut key here you can just put any shortcut key but make sure that it's not redundant with other mac shortcut key so let's say i move to now safari and if you take a look at the menus right here all of them i can access it wherever my cursor is at like let's say right here and it's exactly the same right there right apple you can shut it down or safari here exactly the same right there file edit view history bookmark window help let's say if i open the app other app like let's say final cut pro so take a look right there at the top we have final cut pro file edit trim mark clip modify view window help so my mouse cursor is right here i can just click command one and those features are right here at my fingertip it's really cool so wherever you are at the menu bar at the desktop or in any application you can just access all those menu anywhere your mouse cursor is at okay that's it guys these are the three best optimizer apps for mac os big sur thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video